Hey guys, what is going on? Jurgen from Zergrino Sports here, and today we are back at it again with some more of our SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 GM Mode series. Before we get to into this week's episode, let's take a look at what we did last week, week, week real quick. Oh, this is going to be a rough episode, isn't it? Damn, I'm already uh, slurring. Uh, We'll take a look at what we did last week on the January 10th edition of SmackDown. We started the show off with Johnny Nitro facing off against Kid Cash. Uh, Kid Cash... um I don't think there was any story for this. I think I added in that we could make a story that Nitro asked for a match. There's nobody available, um, you know, other than people who aren't qualified for the Rumble. And he said that he'd put up his Rumble spot just to have a match. And then he got Kid Cash. I think I said that we could do something like that. Might as well just keep that canon. Uh, so Nitro looks uh, strong, I guess, you know. He's willing to put up his uh, Rumble spot because he's so confident in himself. So... I'm having some audio issues right now, right off the bat, too. So that's fucking great. That's fucking great. Um, Yeah, so we got uh, in the next match, Chavo versus RVD with Chavo picking up the win there. Uh, This is just an exhibition match. Then we had uh, not a three-on-one handicap, but instead a um, tag team match between the Mexi Cools and Undertaker and Kane. Uh, The Mexi Cools having some tough times recently since their feud um, with Gregory Helms leading into Armageddon and past Armageddon, um, and, uh, you know, they, uh, they had been having some troubles recently, super crazy, pulls Psychosis aside, he's like, listen, let's just get back to our roots, tag team action, uh, I got ourselves a tag team match, let's get back on track and pick up some momentum, um, and when Super Crazy goes to tag in Psychosis, Psycho- Psychosis retracts his hand and then just stares at him while he gets beat down for the whole match. After he recovers after losing the match, Super Crazy looks at him in the corner, confused and like asking why, uh, to which Psychosis just stares at him a little bit longer, then ju- jumps down off the apron and walks to the back, uh, emotionless, and uh, that's how that happened there. So in, re- in the kayfabe, Undertaker and Kane won a tag team match in the in the in the gameplay, I made it a three-on-one so people could get some popularity. <laughs> um, then in match number four, we had Benoit facing off against Ray. Um, the hashtag face GM giving Ray a final chance to earn himself a U.S. championship match. If he could beat Benoit tonight, he would um, be added to the match at the Royal Rumble, making it a triple threat. Booker T was banned from ringside. Uh, I put him in there in the game, obviously, to advance the rivalry, uh, but he was banned from ringside, and Benoit wins the match, meaning it is a singles match between the two. Then in the next match, we had Batista and Randy Orton defeating Umaga and Kane in a number one contenders match for the tag team championships which also serves a purpose of getting yourself qualified for the rumble as the hashtag face gm would have revealed that all champions bar the world heavyweight champion and all championship contenders at the royal rumble match would at the royal rumble match at the royal rumble pay-per-view would be qualified for the rumble match itself and then in the main event of the evening um Gregory Helms came out, called out uh, Kurt Angle once again. Kurt Angle said that, uh, uh, let me see in my notes here, because this one, I think he said that um, that he impressed him, uh, but he wants to get a hands-on test of his abilities in a tag match to task Gregory Helms with finding himself a partner, which... You know, Gregory Helms has not been the nicest of individuals throughout this series, so probably a little bit hard for him to get some tag team partners. But Eddie Guerrero, uh, you know, he earned Eddie's respect the week prior with their match. So Eddie said that uh, despite not liking him, he respects him and he'll be his tag partner if uh, if need be, if he would have him. Gregory Helms accepts, so that's a tag match between the two or the four individuals, I guess, the two teams. And uh, Gregory Helms and Eddie would have, uh, um, you know, been disputing who starts the match. Eddie would have started off. Helms would have tagged in immediately against Kurt Angle, start the match off against Angle. 
uh, get the upper hand against Angle early on, fluster him so he tags in Shelton, and uh, Helms would not tag out the whole match. He would stay in the whole match and end up getting a roll-up win over Kurt Angle, um, which is big. You know, main event Helms is uh, is well and truly here by the looks of things. Uh, I think we lost last week, yeah, because they had New Year's Revolution. So we should be back to winning ways this week, I hope. And all that stuff. Let's take a quick look at uh, some of these housekeeping items right here. Uh, champions are the same. Nothing new there. Rivalries are all good. I can show you this one now, even though I did really show you it. I just I did some of that so you couldn't see properly. But uh, yeah, I threw Chavo in there because uh, I didn't want to turn Psychosis heel. Because it's a waste of money. And uh, I wanted to have this little rivalry because they were going to be together in their low popularity. So I want to just give their matches a little bit of a boost. Uh, so I threw Chavo in there who has not been involved whatsoever. And then this one's obviously on two thumbs up. And then this one at one thumb up as well there. Uh, in terms of the roster, in terms of popularity, Kurt Angle still is the king with 98. Eddie's at a 93. Undertaker's at a 91. Benoit's at a 90. Kane's at an 87. Uh, Kennedy is at an 86. Helms is at an 85. Batista's 84. Umaga's 84. Book's 83. Randy's 82. RVD's 82. Shelton's 81. Ray's an 80. Molina's a 77. Chavo's a 76. Nitro's a 69. Ha 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 ha. Uh, Super crazy is a 66. Kid Cash down to a 60. I think he lost like three or four uh, points from losing last week, which was fucking ridiculous. Uh, but it is what it is. And then Psychosis up to a 59 right there. So, yeah. Uh, and um, in terms of contracts, let me just double check. Okay, we're renewing a bunch of contracts at the end of this episode, huh? Okay, that might be a problem. <laughs> That might be a little bit of a problem because I have a uh, backstage brawl tonight that cost me 31000 And that 31000 uh, is actually kind of insignificant. Um, so, yeah. A little bit insignificant. I will not lie to you. Uh, but yeah, we got uh, Big Dave right there and then... Uh, maybe it'll help renew his. Like, it's not even, well, that's, 31000 isn't really much. I think regardless, we'll be able to afford everybody. We could probably afford everybody right now on 2.7. So, you know, add, add the show, uh, add the show's revenue to that, and then we should be okay. Um... Yeah, should be good. Okay. Anyways, without further ado, let's run you through this week's card, starting with the first match of the evening, which is Shelton Benjamin taking on Kid Cash in a Royal Rumble qualifier. Uh, we got uh, both of them have not qualified yet. Shelton has not qualified because he's been busy with Kurt um, in, you know, matches against the tag team champs and then matches against uh, Helms and stuff. So Shelton's been a bit busy and he is getting a chance to qualify for the Rumble tonight, as is Kid Cash. Uh, this is Kid Cash's second chance, I believe, or third if you count last Last week for qualification to the Rumble. Let's see if he can capitalize in this match. Then in the second match of the evening, we have a Super Crazy and Psychosis backstage. Uh, this would be a backstage attack in the kayfabe, but obviously we have a backstage brawl in the gameplay, uh, which again is costing me thirty-one thousand goddamn dollars, which uh, which which is pretty expensive. Uh, but it is what it is. Then in the third match of the evening, we have Johnny Nitro taking on. Chris Benoit. So for this one, Benoit would have come out at some point in the show and told Ray that uh, Ray put up a good effort and uh, and that after he retains the U.S. Championship, he will give Ray another shot at the title um, after he retains at uh, at uh, at Royal Rumble. Book comes out to. Um, "Quote unquote," congratulate you know uh, Benoit really antagonize him in in the grand scheme of things, um, and he says that he'll win at Royal Rumble, not Benoit. But in the meantime, he set up a match for Benoit uh, so he can prepare for the Rumble because he'll need all the preparation he can get for the match against Book. Um, and that match tonight is against Johnny Nitro. So we got Johnny Nitro versus Benoit. Um, 
in the third match of the evening. Molina would be in uh, Nitro's corner, of course. Book can be at uh, commentary. Book can be anywhere, really, but commentary works. That's fine. Uh, or backstage. It really doesn't matter. Uh, but commentary might be nice because then you get the heel putting himself over and all that stuff on commentary, which is nice. Uh, then in the fourth match of the evening, we have Batista taking on Kane with their respective tag partners in their corners in a preview for their tag team championship match at the Royal Rumble. That's uh, not much else to go off for that one. It's a tag team title match at the Rumble. The One of the contenders is taking on one of the champions in a singles match to see who can get some momentum going into the pay-per-view. Very, very um, basic tag team booking. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Then in the fifth match of the evening, we have Mr. Kennedy taking on Rey Mysterio in a Royal Rumble qualifier. Uh, Kennedy has had uh, technically two chances to qualify for the Royal Rumble. The first one he blamed on being injured as uh, part of the aftermath of Armageddon against Eddie. Uh, he claimed he was not 100%, which is why he lost. And then last week in that number one contendership slash uh, Rumble qualifier, uh, really, um, he lost with, uh, with Umaga by his side. So he is getting a chance to compete for the Rumble spot, as is Rey Mysterio, who, like Shelton Benjamin, has been busy in recent weeks and has not had a shot to compete, uh, to uh, try and qualify for the Rumble, so he gets his shot tonight against Kennedy. Uh, obviously, Umaga will be accompanying Kennedy to the ring. And then in the main event of the evening, we have Kurt Angle versus Gregory Helms in a singles match non-title. So uh, Helms would come out once again this week and challenge Kurt again. And he'll say, listen, man, you've asked me to jump through all these hoops and I've done it. I've proved myself plenty and I deserve a shot for that World Heavyweight Championship at the Royal Rumble. Kurt comes out and says, you know what? Last week you got lucky with your roll-up. But it is technically a win. So what I'll do is I'll give you a match against me tonight, non-title, one-on-one. And if you can somehow manage to beat me in a miracle, then I will give you a shot at the championship. So uh, that's how that match happens right there. Kurt Angle versus Gregory Helms to end off the show. Main event, Helms back at it again in the main event one more time uh, in a non-title match against the World Heavyweight Champion, which if he can win, he will get a shot at the world title. So that's the card for tonight. And uh, without further ado, let's uh, let's just jump into it uh, with the first match of the evening, which I remind you is Shelton versus Kid Cash. And we are going to be playing every match as always. And as always, match rules, we got that give up and DQ off. And we're going to be playing this match and we're going to be playing this match as... Shelton Benjamin, which should not have been a surprise because I kind of spoiled it last week, but you'll see that Rob Van Dam is in the match. Basically, uh, the kayfabe is going to be Shelton versus Kid Cash, but with Shelton going to a 60 after last week's loss, I'm fearing that another loss tonight will put him like 55 or lower. So what I've gone ahead and done is put RVD versus Shelton for the popularity, so it's a good star rated match. And I threw Kid Cash in the winning side just so we can stop his downward skid of popularity. We might throw him into the into the corners of some other matches here and there just to get him closer to that 70 range. I don't really care too much if he's above 70 uh, or whatnot, but in and around that 70 mark is where I want Kid Cash. Probably above 70 actually would be the best. But uh, yeah, so we've gone ahead and made the gameplay Shelton Benjamin vs. RVD. Um, so as to protect Kid Cash's popularity, but the kayfabe would be Shelton versus Kid Cash in a Royal, Royal Rumble qualifier with RVD nowhere to be seen. He wouldn't be on the show this week. Um, he would have the week off. So, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, without further ado, let's, uh, let's load this up and see if we can win. And while we wait, we're going to go ahead and crack open a cold one with the boys that meme. There we go. Please sponsor me, PC. 
Hell yeah, brother. We got that raspberry. We got that raspberry flavor, which is fantastic. Which is fantastic. You know what it is, which is fantastic, brother. We got RVD right here. <clears throat> Look at him, bro. Look at him, bro. What the fuck is that sign? What was that the Pitbull sign? Can I see that again? What is that sign? Is that an RVD sign or is that a shell? Oh, that's a fucking Kid Cash sign, isn't it? <laughs> Too much will to survive. Do the, do the managers get signs too? That has to be a Kid Cash sign. There's no way that's associated with RVD or Shelton. Um, so, and I, I'm pretty sure that Kid Cash has a pit bull or something on his tights. Uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna assume that that's a, um, that that's a, uh, Kid Cash sign. You can't rock with me, no stopping. You can't rock with me, no stopping. You can't rock with me, just drop it. Ain't no stopping me, no. No stopping, you can't rock with me, no stopping, you can't rock with me, just drop it, ain't no stopping me, no. Imagine if they would have had uh, superstar threads in in this game. Imagine how good that would have been. GM mode plus superstar threads, oh my god, oh my god. You know, because then you are not you don't keep the same guy over and over and over, you can switch them up, you can switch up their looks, right? Which is perfect. You can you can have it evolve more and more because you know with with the stories and trying to switch up the kind of matches we've been having, you know that's trying to keep it fresh. But it, but you know being able to change the tires would really help keep it fresh as well. I feel like so yeah. Um, ho hopefully I'm not doing what WWE has been doing recently, where you get best of 37 uh, matches. <laughs> you know, series matches uh, between people. Hopefully I haven't been doing too much of that. Hopefully I've been keeping the matches kind of fresh, uh, at least. Uh, but let's see. Uh, I don't even know if we've done Shelton and RVD before. Oh, no, for the US title, I think we've done that, yeah. But I think only once or twice before we've done Shelton and RVD, so hopefully we've kept it kind of fresh. <laughs> German Supla, baby! Let's go, bro, let's go. Keep stomping on you. Let's do this. Some oh, shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Let me uh get out of here, RVD. Let me poke you in the eyes, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. German soup la baby. That's what I like to see. You like to see those Germans, brother. Like to see those Germans, brother. Like to see those Germans, brother. Let me grab them ankles. Get out of here, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Boom. Nice little neck breaker. Nice little elbow to the fucking uh, ass crack. Give, give me your ankles, bruh. Give me your ankles, bruh. I'm the fucking monster under your bed when you turn off the lights. You better get them fucking feet under the blanket or I'm grabbing them ankles, brother. Get the fuck over here. Here, I'll back away. I'll back away. Get over. Get over here, man. I'll back away. Come on. Come on, man. Get near the, get near the shit, bruh. Come on, man. Alright, man. You really... Okay, come on, man. Oh, come on, bruh. I think I... No, I didn't reverse if he... Yeah, nope. No chance I reversed. Ooh, gotta love that. That's cool. I love... RVD is really good for having innovative offense and, like, different moves to a lot of people on the roster, especially at the time where he was at his peak, you know? Because WWE... It, it, was, a, it was a really good era of ring psychology and stuff, which is why the Ruthless Aggression era was my, my favorite. Um, because, you know, the ring psychology was there, there was good in-ring work, and there was good characters still. I feel like nowadays the in-ring work... Uh, baby. The in-ring work these days is, is entertaining, and there's cool moves being done, but there's no ring psychology, so it's kind of hard for me to really, really get invested in matches. Um, but um, the characters these days are really lacking. Ooh, that's a good reversal. He's fucking me up, man. Um, and then in the Attitude Era, obviously characters were off the charts, but the matches weren't weren't that great, if we're being honest. Um, so I think the Ruthless Aggression Era was kind of that perfect middle ground. He has a finish. That's not good for me. That's not good for me at all. Don't go top rope, man. 
Come on, man. Come on, man. Uh, I'm gonna need- No, 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 don't you fucking dare. Don't you fucking dare. Let me get you with a one of those, you son of a bitch. Get over here. Come on, man. Nick Patrick, you- I'm gonna grab your ankles if he ain't giving me his to grab. That's right. I'm gonna grab any ankles, bro. I'm that monster under the bed. Ooh. Oh, Kid Cash met his match. Yeah, those are pit bulls on his, uh, on his tights. The fuck you running at me for? The fuck you running at me for, bruh? Who are you aggroing? Not me. Haha, -ha, that's your fault, brother. That's your bad. That's your bad. German supla, baby. Let me store that. Let me pick your ass up. Let me get you with a good old T bone. He's gonna kick out of that. He's definitely gonna kick out of that. He's only yellow and orange. <clears throat> yep. <clears throat> Whoop, German Supla, baby. Let me get you with one of those uh, headlocks. Um, but yeah, so going back to RVD, in, in in that time in the Ruthless Aggression era when when the matches were really good and there was a lot of ring psychology, there wasn't the big uh, fancy moves really by many people. Uh, so he did well to, you know, make himself stand out with his moveset because it was really diverse offense. You know what I mean? So, um, oh yeah, you got you know, like that. You like that. The thing I love about the T-Bone so much is that he, he fucking like folds him in. So you can never have a rope break with the T-Bone. That might be it though. Yep. His head was red. So if his head was uh, still orange, I think maybe he would have kicked out. But, uh, speaking of kicking out, remember last week when I kicked out of, uh, some shit with Chavo? I think it was against, I think I kicked out of a frog splash from RVD with Chavo, even though I was, like, red or something. Shit was nuts, man. That was fucking crazy. Uh, we got, uh, Shelton with the win right there, qualifying himself for the Royal Rumble match against the person who's actually holding his hand right now, Kid Cash, so we're gonna skip that. Um, but yeah, Shelton Benjamin qualifies himself for the Royal Rumble match with that victory to start off the show. And now we're going to cut backstage to a backstage attack by Psychosis on the Super Crazy. Uh, but we're going to be playing a Super Crazy. Um, so, yeah. Uh, basically, uh, we, got, uh, we got Super Crazy right here. We got Psychosis right here. While this loads, uh, yeah, I don't know. So this is going to be a backstage assault started by Psychosis uh, that's going to get broken up by uh, security. I'm going to drink some of this PC. Please sponsor me. Hell yeah, brother. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, hopefully we can get this win with uh, Super Crazy. That'd be good. None of these guys have standing finishers, so... Uh, this will be fun to uh, try and win the match. Oh, shit. Um, you know what I mean? Because we don't have to worry about, you know, standing up and getting hit with a finisher. <clears throat> oh, yeah, you like that? Oh, yeah, you like that? You little bitch? A little bitch? Oh, come on. There's no way that fucking worked like that. Uh, so, yeah, Super Crazy uh, would just be walking... Uh, we, we would probably have a segment where Super Crazy is scheduled to cut a promo... And, uh, you know, ask Psychosis why uh, he did what he did last week, what was going on. And then while you're hyping up, you know, on his way to the ring for the promo uh, is super crazy. Then just out of nowhere, Psychosis blindsides him. And then we get a backstage assault kind of thing. And then it's broken up by security eventually. So uh, neither individual gets the upper hand, really. Oh my goodness. What the fuck, Psychosis? You're Psychosis pisses me off, man. Because when I play as him, he's the biggest piece of goddamn fucking filth that this game has ever seen. But when you play against him man he reverses the fuck out you like he's some sort of fucking benoit brother it's fucking ridiculous i think i reversed that or not okay cool cool psychosis cool man cool what are you doing trying to submit me you fucking schmuck you fucking bitch get the fuck out of here no fucking way he's reversing this much no way that's a german he's gonna beat me he's gonna fucking beat me I can feel it right now. I can feel it. I can feel it in my fucking nutsack, man. I feel it right now. It's uncomfortable. 
that might not be a feeling in this match. Maybe I need to see a doctor, but um, I feel it, man. He's gonna he's gonna win this match. The last time we did one of these, we fucking lost, uh, even though we probably should have won. It's gonna be another one of those. Um, get the fuck out of here, because he just reverses like everything. I don't know what his reversal rating is. Oh, I fucking. Come on, man. Get you with a good old German supla, baby. I don't, I don't really... I really dislike that both of these guys don't have a stomp for a ground strike. Fucking Irish whips, man. Irish whips, man. Irish whips, man. Fucking Irish whips, man. No, 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 no. Because he's, he's going to beat me right now. And he goes over here because he knows... What is this? Okay, I don't think I've seen this before. Hell yeah. We're, uh, we're making amends, brother. He's gonna spit it in my face? Or he's gonna is it gonna be a stunner kind of thing? This is gonna be a Steve Austin meme. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why did the why did I just sell for the fucking beer? Did he did he poison me? What the fuck is going on, man? There we go. I haven't been able to do any fucking environmental shit because this motherfucker reverses any time I try and fucking uh Irish whip. Hey man. Hey man. You like Tory Wilson? You like Tory Wilson, brother? You like Tory Wilson? Oh, yeah. Tory doesn't like you. Damn, he uh he was getting in the position, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think you can do that in public, psychosis. I don't think you can do that in public, brother. Keep that uh in the vicinity of your homes, man. Of your house, home. Yeah, I don't know why I said homes plural. I I mean, wrestlers probably have more than one house, you'd think, right? You know, their house, house, and then maybe, like, another house. Come on. Get over here, you son of a bitch. There we go. Let's do something with the TVs, brother. Ooh, yeah. Fuck your head, bruh. Fuck your shit. Fuck your shit, psychosis. Fuck your shit, brother. There we go. We actually won this one. So the feeling in my ball sack was incorrect. Uh... So maybe it really is just a medical issue, but no, I'm kidding. Um, so yeah, uh, nobody would have won that in the kayfabe. It would have been started by uh, Psychosis. Super Crazy would have fought back. Security would have uh, separated them. And then Super Crazy would not have had his uh, promo segment anymore uh, after that happened. So yeah, on to the next one. We got this. Uh, so basically I went ahead and did a triple threat, sorry, a hardcore uh, one on three. Uh, or trio, I guess. Because it is a singles match between Nitro and Benoit, but Nitro is always uh, accompanied by Melina, and then Book has to be in this match for the rivalry. So I'm like, you know what? Okay, handicap one on three. And uh, I'll only play as um, Nitro, because we're going to be playing as Nitro. There you go, DQ. Uh, I'll give up. I have to keep on, don't I? Ah, oh, shit. DQ's off though. Uh, we're gonna be playing as Nitro. We're gonna we're gonna control all three is what we'll do. Um, but what we're gonna try and do mainly is we're gonna try and play this whole match as just Nitro versus Benoit. If I get in real trouble, then I'll tag in Book uh, because Book is actually going to interfere in the match and cause the match to go Nitro's way. Uh, Benoit will be gaining ahead of steam, and then Book's gonna interfere, screw over Benoit. Molina could be distracting the ref. Book comes in hits Benoit with his title um, and then leaves the ring Nitro does his uh, little fucking handstand uh, leg drop thing bada boom bada bing or we can pretend that he has his uh, front flip neck breaker thing in this game uh, it doesn't really matter but Nitro gets the win after Booker T interferes so we're gonna try and do just Nitro and beat Benoit one on one if we get in trouble, we're going to tag in Book and then finish it off with Book because he does get involved in the match uh, in the kayfabe. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do to get this win. And while we wait for this to load, once again, please sponsor me, Peace T. God damn, man. I, I, I gent, like, it's, it's a running gag on the channel, but genuinely, man, if Peace T sponsored me... You would ha you you would have you have no idea how happy I'd be because genuinely, I really really like the product. Like it's not a meme. It's a meme because of how persistent I am with it. But like it's not a meme because I genuinely really enjoy the fucking product because it's so good. <laughs> like you know what I mean? I don't know. Whatever. It sponsor me though. There's no holding me back. 
I'm not driven by fear, I'm just driven by anger and you're under attack. Just climbing up slowly, I'm the one and only, I'm... <clears throat> Alright, we got Benoit right there. Like, imagine... Uh, imagine changing Benoit's attire. We could have like some like the the red one, the blue one, whatever you wanted, really. With Ray, we could do a lot of shit, you know, and make him look different all the time. We would pretty much change Ray's attire every week, like he does. Um, for some people, they probably wear the same trunks for like a month and then switch and stuff like that, like Benoit. But like, you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. I think that'd be cool if they would have uh, figured out Superstar Threads uh, while GM mode was still in. What what I need them to do for 2K22, bring GM mode back because we're having the draft. Uh, we just had night one of the draft on SmackDown, um, and then uh, night two of the draft is happening. Uh, so this comes out on Sundays, right? So tomorrow on Raw. Uh, so we're, we're having a draft again. So they're, they're splitting up the rosters again. I'm going to start watching the product again. I haven't watched since literally October last year. So it's been a year straight of me not watching the product uh, on a weekly basis. I will be keeping an eye out for Melina's Gooch right here, though. That's I'll tell you what I'll be watching right now. Always watch for, for that Melina Gooch. Oh, why did I start that meme on the channel? There it is. Okay, good fucking hell. Why did I put myself in that hole? Uh, not that way. I just heard it. I just heard it. I. That was not intentional. I'm begging you. Believe me. <laughs> God damn it, why do I do this to myself? I meant like digging myself in a hole, but obviously. <clears throat> Can you dig it, sucker? <laughs> okay, let's try and let's try and uh, get back on this. I have not watched the product for a year besides Mania. Um, the main event of Backlash to see Edge and Randy, which was great, even though I started watching that late, well, like maybe 10 minutes into the match. Um, I don't think I've watched anything since. Um, Money in the Bank, kinda. I think I had it on in the background when I was hanging out with a friend or something like that. Or something like that, but I didn't really watch it. Um, or I might have had it on in the background while playing some games or some shit. I really don't know. Um, there you go. There you go, Benoit. Come on. Benoit, get yourself DQ'd, man. If I, if I would have turned off, if I wouldn't have turned off DQ'd, Benoit would be one hit away from being DQ'd, man. Ooh, come on, man. I think I ever, no, I didn't reverse that. Okay. Um, so yeah, I haven't watched, uh, WWE in a year, roughly. Um, I watched the debut on Fox. I think I maybe watched the next week on Fox. And then I fucking said fuck off. <laughs> German soup la bebe. Um, and then I watched Mania, of course. I watched, uh, like I said, the Backlash main event. The, the quote-unquote greatest wrestling match ever. Maybe a little bit of uh, Money in the Bank and then that would have been it. Not, I didn't even watch SummerSlam, I don't think. Um, just do... Bro, can I, can I bury the US Champion real, real quick? Ooh, I mean, I'm gonna I'm try it. He's gonna kick out, but I'm gonna try it. Um, I was worried that he wasn't gonna kick out. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, so yeah, it'll it'll be the first time in a little bit that I'm watching uh, weekly uh, television of of WWE. Granted, I didn't even watch night one of the draft because the Heat were playing against the Lakers and I'm a Heat fan and it was winner go home for us and we won. Uh, and AD should be suspended because he hit Jay Crowden in, th in the face when they were both down, but it's the Lakers so nothing's gonna happen. But that's besides the point. I, uh, I watched maybe like 20 minutes of SmackDown while I was waiting for the game to start. Um, so, but I will be watching Raw. And I'm gonna give the product a chance again. Um, I think I'll probably watch until Mania, and then if Mania is shit and the build up to Mania is shit, then uh, then then I'll probably stop again. I just I miss watching wrestling every week because I I love wrestling. Um, but at the same time, if they're gonna insult my intelligence and give me the same shit every week, and the same if, if the same shit every week was good. 
then that's one thing. But the same shit every week is awful. So, like, that's a completely other story. Um, so, if you're going to insult my intelligence as a viewer, and you're going to give me the same garbage every week, I'm not going to watch. I got better things to do with my time, you know? Um, so, that, that's the whole, that's, that's my whole thing with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, let's finish it. He might have reversed that, actually. No, he didn't. Okay, that's going to be the end of the match then. Um, that's my whole thing with, um, the product. So I'm going to give it another shot now that they did a brand split. If they're going to do stupid, uh, show, show jumping and wild card stuff again, I might even stop like within a month of watching. Um, but we're, we're getting close to Mania season. You know what I mean? We got Hell in a Cell coming up. I've been keeping up on like Twitter or YouTube here and there about certain stuff. Um, I'm liking the Roman and Jay uh, rivalry from what I've seen. I'm liking heel Roman. Heel Roman is the right call. They took way too long to do it. And it's funny that they did it when there were no fans. Because it would have worked so much better with fans. Because everybody fucking hated the guy. But it is what it is. Um, I am liking the Jay and, and, and uh, Roman rivalry. And then I'm liking uh, Bray corrupting Alexa Bliss. I, I don't know if... I, I don't really know much of what they're doing with that. I don't know if they're going to make it so Alexa Bliss is Sister Abigail. Or if she's just somebody that Bray has corrupted. But I do like what they're doing with that. I don't know if there's anything else I really like. Um, I was... I, I liked the Ray and Seth stuff at the beginning with Dominic. Uh, but, but from what I've seen on Twitter and stuff, it's just been the same matches every week. So, yeah... And now they involved his daughter Aaliyah, so I don't know. Maybe they'll change it up. I don't know. I'll have to see when I start watching. Uh, he's on SmackDown, I think. Anyways, next match we got uh, Batista versus Kane. We're gonna be doing give up off DQ off, and we're gonna be playing this match, and we're gonna be playing this match as uh, Kane. You know what I'm saying? We got Kane masked, of course. We got Undertaker. We got Batista, and we got Randy Orton. Let's see if we can get a win for the tag team champions leading into their tag team title defense. And once again, while we wait for this to load, please sponsor me, PC. Hell yeah, brother. But yeah, um, I'm going to give the product a shot again, probably until Mania. And then if it's still shit by the time Mania comes around, then uh, I'll stop again, which is a shame. Um, but it is what it is. Um, I haven't watched AEW either. I watched the first AEW show and then I didn't have time and then I stopped watching wrestling altogether, really. So I might try and start watching AEW. Um, I might try and start watching Impact because I like some of the guys they got there. I don't know. There's a lot of wrestling out there, man. It's just about finding the time. We got Big Dave right here, man. We got Big Dave. I walk for miles inside this pit of danger A place where no one follows me I walk alone <sighs> Hell yeah, bruh Hell yeah, bruh I'm sick of all these people talking out their heads I don't usually watch that far into his entrance. That was way off the fucking bullshit I was trying. It's Kane's turn now, though. No, 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 no. Where's uh, where's where's your uh, where's your brother uh, Undertaker, bruh? Where's Undertaker? Where's Takey, baby? What? Why am I saying stuff like that? Let's just fucking skip that. Jesus, bruh. Fuck. All right, let's, let's keep this going, man. Let's keep this going, man. <clears throat> let's keep this going. <clears throat> let's go, man. 
I know all the goddamn controls, brother. You don't gotta show me the controls no more. Except for tag team controls. I would like to know the tag team controls. Nice little slap uppercut, which is why it's something I love that Kane does. You know, people do uppercuts, you know. Uh, Europeans, especially with Randy and Cesaro. And, uh... You know, the more technical guys. Uh, I know Kurt did them, did them. Benoit probably did some, but I can't remember if he did. Um, but yeah, you know, people do Europeans. Um, you know, but, uh, you know, Kane got that, like, slap uppercut and it fucking, it slaps, pun intended. So, there you go. Stomp on you, stomp on you. Come on. Uh, I'm fighting back some burps right here, man. I'm, I'm, I'm apologies, brother. It, it's gross, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, we're live. We're not. This is pre-recorded, as always, because it's an upload on YouTube, so it can't be live. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Okay, I think the burps are done. I don't know if the mic picked it up, but if it did, apologies. And if it didn't, uh, forget what I said. There you go. There we go. That's, that's how we'll, uh, <laughs> that's how we'll, uh, circumvent that. If you could not reverse my maneuvers, that'd be great, Batista. Oh, come on, man. Oh, come on, bro. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't throw me out of the ring, though. You could have thrown me out of the ring. Oh, you're going to do that, though. Okay. Oh, I was early on that. I was way too early on that. Thank you for the gifted fucking... Oh, yeah, choke the shit out of him, brother. Choke the shit out of him, brother. If this was, um... If, if, if I didn't turn off DQs in this game, then that would be, uh... Then that'd be, uh... Negative momentum for Kane, but since DQs are off... Nothing, uh, nothing is illegal. Everything goes, so... Come on, man. Fuck you. What you trying to do? Get over here, man. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Get out of here, bruh. Ooh, look at that big boo. Yeah, you like that big boo, brother? Let's get you with that uh, power bomb. Let's get you with that power bomb, baby. I guess he maybe used that when he first uh, unmasked, which is why he has it. Or maybe he used it when he was still masked. I really don't know, but he hadn't. Here comes the pain. Um, so, yeah. And here comes the pain. He was unmasked. Let's just hope there's no rope. That's That's rope. That's not rope? Uh-oh. Why is it slow? Why is it slow like this? Okay, well, that was a quick one. These have been quick, and I don't really know what's going on, because usually they take a little bit longer. Um, I mean, we're at the point where we have two matches left, and uh, my recording's at, like, 47, which maybe is closer to 40 for the actual video. Uh, so... Yeah, I don't really know. Uh, this might be a short one, man. I don't know. We got two more matches. Um, and then, yeah. I don't know. I really hope, by the way, that we do go into Rumble with more fans. Because I think Rumble is a six-match show. So I think we get uh, three, two, and then Rumble match. So that would be dope because then I can fit all of my tag matches in the game. If not, I'm going to have to do one in Exhibition. Um, which is going to be unfortunate. Um, but, uh, yeah. It is what it is, bro. It is what it is. Alright, we got, uh, Batista. We got Randy getting the loss against Kane. And then in the next match, we have Ray and Kennedy. And as you can tell by the placement of Umaga, Ray Mysterio is winning. And Umaga took a loss last week and is 84 down arrow. Kennedy was 86 down arrow. So I'm like, you know what? I don't want to put Umaga down to 83. So we're just going to put him on the winning side. Hopefully the winning side, at least. Um... And, uh, and hopefully he just levels out at 84, and then Kennedy can go down to an 85, and then, and then we'll just deal with that. But I don't want Umaga going below 84. Uh, so, we are playing as Ray. We are going to be playing as Ray. Uh, and in this match, we will have a significant disadvantage, because Kennedy is a heavyweight, and he's been, uh, he's given me trouble when I've played against him with heavyweights before. So... 
you know, like he's going to give me some trouble when I'm playing against him as a cruiserweight too. So this is going to be a little bit difficult. Uh, Umaga in the kayfabe once again is on Kennedy's side, uh, but he is not in the gameplay because we don't want him to go down to 83 popularity. Uh, so uh, yeah, let's uh, let's try and get this W. This is going to be a tough one though, I feel like. You know what's not tough? Making the decision to drink peace tea. Please sponsor me. Please! I'm coming up with these, like, dope fucking ways to, to plug it, too, you know? A lot of the times I'll just be like, yo, we drinking this peace tea. Please sponsor me. And then sometimes I'll work it into what I just said before, you know? I'll make a little meme. Canada. <clears throat> Canada. I'll turn up the treble till it gets real loud. I feel so much better that way. Alright. I brought it to brown and I'm brown and I can. Gonna see how much I can win today, yeah. Gonna put up the blue out of that will bleed blah blue. Blee 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 blah blah blue blah blah blee. Ahem, <clears throat> yeah. It is what it is. I don't know this part of the song. <laughs> I could easily look up a lyrics video, but uh, I won't. So, <laughs> yeah. Attention. I'd like to remind you that I weigh in tonight at 246 pounds. I hail from Green Bay, Wisconsin, uh, Mr. Canada. And we're going to blue balls you on the finish, brother. Get wrecked, as usual. There you go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so... <clears throat> We come for you, orale, orale, andale. What you gonna do when we come for you? We got Ray right here. Buica, buica, six one nine. Buica, buica, that's my bueno. Buica, buica, six one nine. Buica, buica, Rey Mysterio. Six one nine. Buica, buica, that's my bueno. Buica, buica, six one nine. What you gonna do when we come for you? We got Ray right there, uh, which once again I was mentioning a little bit ago. I'm pretty sure his daughter Leah's on the product now. Uh, has a weird thing going on with Murphy. Um, so yeah, I'm a fan of Murphy. By the way, I'm a big fan of Murphy. If you weren't aware. Uh, I don't know if I've mentioned it on GM mode or other series, but I, th I think I've mentioned it before on the channel. I'm a huge fan of Murphy. I think he's really underutilized. I'm really, really hoping that... Uh, I think he's a free agent after the first draft, but I mean, he, he'll he probably get put to SmackDown to continue that feud, you'd imagine. Um, I really hope that the whole thing is that Murphy ends up turning on Seth, uh, you know, and stops being his disciple. And then hopefully he wins the feud with Seth and then can go on to a strong mid mid card title or maybe even a world title run. Because I think he's at that level, personally. Um, world title, maybe maybe Vince doesn't see that because he's small, because Vince is a fucking moron. But, um, you know, there you go. Uh, but, like, US title run or whichever, which one's on Raw? US, right? Yeah, US. Uh, US title is on Raw, so, you know... Oh, no, but he's he's on SmackDown now, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Intercontinental title run, then. And that was uh, Force of Habit. I knew that was a German, and I still went for it, uh, even though it wasn't going to work. Thank God he didn't hit me with a German in return. Okay, Nick Patrick. Okay, Kennedy. That... Mm, that's some bullshit. That right there, right, was some bullshit. Is what that was, because I was going for for the. Let me just let me just let me, let me fucking. I don't give a shit if this isn't what Ray does, okay? When the game when the game's like, hey, you got a move off. We're gonna make the guy turn around so you can't physically do the move because of our stupid uh, weight detection system, you know? Then I fight dirty. Uh, to be fair, I fight dirty regardless. I don't really give a shit if the game fucks me over or not. I'll fight dirty because I I want to win. <laughs> um, so yeah. Ooh, there you go. There you go. Ooh, there you go, there you go. 
Oh, there you go, there you go, there you go, and there you go, there you go, boom! There we go, there we go, that's some good shit, that's some good shit. Oh, that is, that's not some good shit. A reversal of his got me to fucking yellow, brother. Oh, I can't fucking, why am I doing that? I know that I can't fucking do that. Oh, he fucking reversed me, bruh. There you go, yeah, get him. Oh, of course, of course, of course he's reversing, man. Why wouldn't he be reversing, man? Ooh. Ooh, there you go, there you go, there you go. Move out the way, Nick Patrick, move out the way, brother. 450, brother. Never mind, that was not a 450. It looked like he was uh, shaping up for a 450, and then he's like, nah, I'm gonna stop halfway through. <laughs> so that was weird. That's a knee to my fucking face slash chest area. Uh, let's do some of that. Can I do that to him? Ooh, I can. Nice. Woo. Oh, that's not good. That is not good at all. That hurt me a lot. That hurt me a lot. Oh, come on, man. There we go. Let's uh, let's try that again, though. Let's try that again. Here we go. Oh, there you go. There you go. Don't want to pin. Don't want to pin off that because it'll get him some momentum. Whoop! Come on, right there. There you go. Oh no 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 no! Come on, man. Ah, no. Oh, he got to me first. She did. Uh, that should have probably done damage to my uh, head instead of my body, but what are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck is your problem? Oh, you're a piece of shit. You know that? You know that, Kennedy? You know that, Kennedy? You're a piece of shit. Why does he keep turning around when I'm doing this fucking move, man? I've done it twice now to his front, and the game's like, nah, you're fucking doing it to his back. There you go. No, I was expecting him to turn around that time. That's my fault, but also just, uh, okay, come on. No, 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 no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you to chill, bro. There you go. No, brother. He was turning around, man. Oh, my fucking God. From now on, I'm gonna have to exit the ring to make sure he's facing me, brother. There we go. Are you facing me? Are you facing me or are you gonna turn around? You gonna turn around or are you facing me? Okay, that's not... What the fuck? What... I wasn't... The steps are there! There's absolutely... <clears throat> no goddamn reason... At all... For that to have gone down the way that it did. I ran into the ring like this, and the game's like, Oh, you know what? You're going into the corner. Jump, I fucking dare you, you fucking idiots. Ha ha, you fucking... That's not what I wanted. I'll take it, though. Turn around. Okay. Oh, give me your leg. Give me, give me your legs, bro. Give me your legs, bro. Give me your legs, because if this does enough momentum, there you go. That's three now. That's three. That's not even a weight detection thing. That's just, that's just the game being shit. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna fucking don't you start counting me out again, you son of a bitch. Leave me the fuck alone. Leave me the fuck alone. Get over here, Kennedy. Get over here, man. One pinfall from him and I'm not kicking out, you know? That's the thing. Get get over here, man. Get over here, man. Do it. There you go. Why am I doing that? No, 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 no. Oh, fucking shit, bro. Oh, yeah, you like that? Fuck you, man. Oh, I can't even store it because I have to sell. Cool. Cool, man. Cool, man. Sounds good. If I can get a count out win here, I don't give a fuck. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm not going to, of course. Of course. Oh, maybe he's going to sell enough. Come on, man. There you go. I'm going to need you to get your ass up. There we go. Fourth time's the charm, brother. Fourth time's the charm. Boom. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Let's do it. Boom. There we go. One, two, three. There it is, man. There it is. All right. Perfect. That's a W for Ray. That will stop the downward uh, trajectory of Umaga's uh, popularity. Um, they will continue the downward popularity of Kennedy's 
downward trajectory of, of uh, Kennedy's popularity, unfortunately, uh, but at least we didn't double down on the negative effect. We doubled down on the positive with, you know, reversing the negative for Umaga and then I think reversing a negative for Ray because Ray would have lost last week as well. So um, three people with losses last week on the downward trend. Now two of them get uh, fixed around. Uh, so, yeah. <clears throat> he has qualified for the Rumble, man. Umaga would not be congratulating him. Umaga would be attending to uh, Mr. Kennedy. Kennedy, Kennedy, Kennedy. Um, you know, is what he would be doing. Is what he would be doing. <clears throat> All right. So it is now time for the main event of the evening, which is yet another handicap three on one. And the reason I've done this is because I need Gregory Helms to win because Gregory Helms is going to win this match and I wasn't going to risk just a singles match. Uh, so we're going to do a similar thing to what we did against Benoit. We're going to try and win the whole match as the one person. And if we need help, we're going to tag out and get the job done. However, with this match, it's going to be even worse. No, it's not going to be even worse. It was the same because Give Up is going to... Oh, Give Up's going to be on. Oh, this is going to be fucking tough. Um, like I said, we're playing as Helms. We're going to have to tag him in immediately, it looks like, because uh, Chavo's technically the first guy. Uh, Chavo's not part of this match at all, by the way. He's just in there to uh, give somebody a popularity boost. Um, so... Yeah, man, uh, we'll go ahead and load into this real quick, and then I'll explain to you uh, how the finish goes down, because Eddie is involved, and uh, Shelton's involved as well, so we'll just, uh, we'll start, we'll start up this loading, and then I'll uh, explain to you the finish. Alright, man, let's, uh, before I get into the finish, please sponsor me, PST. Hell yeah, it helps me finish. <clears throat> I'm going above and beyond with these fucking sponsor me plugs, brother. Please, okay? You gotta, you gotta do something, guys. You gotta do something, guys. Please. Um, okay. So Helms would be on track to beat Kurt Angle in this match, and then Shelton would come down, um, down the ramp for some shenanigans to distract the ref and stuff like that. And when Kurt's about to cheat, Eddie would come through the crowd, maybe so as to not be seen by Shelton uh, coming down the ramp, whatever. Uh, Eddie would come through the crowd or something, stop uh, stop Kurt from cheating, um, take out Shelton after Shelton notices that Eddie's there, and then Helms would then win the match. So, uh, yeah. So Helms would be looking good, Shelton would come down, Kurt would be about to uh, cheat to win, Eddie stops him, Takes out Shelton, and then Helms does get the win in a singles non-title match against the World Heavyweight Champion in the main event of SmackDown. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we're uh, we're we're making Helms look uh, pretty good, man. We're making Helms look pretty good. We're making Helms look pretty damn good. Chavo, bum, bum, bum. oh shit, freestyle, right? Fuck, I should have just kept him off the show. Giving me a week off of the freestyles, god damn it. Okay, let's see. Chavo's not technically on the show this week, so I'm gonna use this freestyle to sponsor Gimmick PST. So please, if you're watching this, headquarters uh, of PST, if you could please do me a favor and sponsor me. I don't know, that was shit, but they're all shit, so. <laughs> Sponsor me, PST, man. I'm, that's that's the point. God damn it. Sponsor me, man. Sponsor me, please. I'm begging. <laughs> I'm giving you free promo right now, but I'm just saying throw 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 the boy a couple bucks. Throw the boy um, a supply of PST. You know what I mean? Please, man. I'm begging you. I'm begging you, brother. I go th I I go through so many cans of your product a week, brother. Who? <clears throat> and I'm tougher than tough calling your bluff cuz I cheat, I steal. I lie, I cheat, I steal. Oh, everybody wants to fight me. Can you feel it? Hey. Uh, it was Eddie's birthday recently. Uh, so this is coming out on Sunday, which is the 11th. So uh, two days ago, October 9th, um, was Eddie's birthday. Uh, 50... Hmm, 50 something. I'm pretty sure, but I forget the actual age. I think it's 50-something. Maybe 40-something? 
No, because he would have been in his 30s when he died, right? In 2005. Um, I think maybe 54 or something, 51. I don't know. I don't know his age. Uh, all I do know is that he's the GOAT and RIP in peace because everybody fucking misses you. If you're a wrestling fan, you miss Eddie Guerrero, pretty much. And if you don't, then uh, you're, you're a fake fucking fan because this dude's a f just irreplaceable in the wrestling in the wrestling business no nobody's been able to do what he's done he's just he's he's once in a lifetime honestly um so it's it's a real shame that uh that he did die back in 05 would have been really really cool to see how his career went going into um you know the latter stages of the ruthless aggression era and into the pg era uh, he, he's the type of guy who I think would have kept fresh and kept really good even once they went PG. Because um, once again, he's the GOAT, man. I, I just, I don't know how else to say it. He's, for me, in my opinion, man, he is the greatest of all time. Incredible promo, both as a heel and as a face. He can wrestle great as a heel and as a face. Because a, a lot of the time when people talk about how people wrestle, they don't really talk about how you can wrestle differently when you're heel and face. If he was a heel... He'd do like really good heel dirty tactics in the ring and get heat. And if he was a face, you know, he would still do well. So I don't know. He's just he's incredible. He's the goat. Um, but yeah, uh, it was his birthday. So yep, it was his birthday uh, on the ninth. So that was uh, that was some. Just thought I'd mention that. Yeah, rest in peace, man. The goat. The goat. All right, man. Let's uh, let's try and get this win with uh, with Helms. We're gonna have to tag him in immediately because uh, I think Chavo's gonna end up starting this match because he was the first guy on the thing. I, I put Chavo, uh, Helms as the last guy because I wanted him to come out last. Um, you know what I mean? So because you know the the bigger draw comes out last. Let me uh, let me let me let me tag in your boy right here. Let me tag in your boy. Let me tag in your boy. Chavo, get him, bro. Chavo, get him, bro. Chavo, get him, bro. Uh oh, well. Ooh. Come on, man. Yeah, you like that? Come on, Chavo, get him. Yeah, Chavo. Yeah, let's... Oh, shit. He reversed the, the double team. He reversed the double team. Yo, Chavo. Yo, Chavo. Yo, Chavo. Yo, Chavo. Chavo, I need you. I need you right here. I need you. No, never mind. I thought that was a submission. I thought that was a submission. I'm not gonna lie to you. Get that reversal, baby. You are, you are hitting me, Chavo. You're hitting me, brother. There you go. Get him, Chavo. Fuck you. Oh yeah, fuck you, man. Fuck you. Fuck you, Kurt. Fuck you, Kurt. That's a poke at the your eyes. A poke at the eyes, you know? Oh, shit, 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 shit. Come on. Nice European uppercut. Look at that. Even Helms does not bro. Helms does not bro. Whoop. Big DDT. Here we go. Uh, of course he reversed. I don't know why he like went around all the way. How am I at fucking yellow head already? He uh okay, cool. <laughs> Chavo uh Chavo obviously uh has some something uh something wrong that he needs to discuss with Eduardo over there. Yeah, Eddie get him. Yeah, Eddie get him. You're involved. Ooh, yeah. Come on, bro. Ooh, hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, man. Oh, come on. Come on, man. Yeah, get him. Get him, Eddie. Get him, Eddie. Yeah, Eddie. I'm the legal man, you fucking nincom fucking poop. You fucking moron. You moron of life. You moron of life. You fucking moron of life, Nick Patrick. Don't make me fucking sign you again just to bury you again. I will goddamn do it. I will fucking do it, man. I will do it. Don't fucking... Don't test me. Ooh, that's a kick to my nuts. That's a kick to my nuts, bro. <laughs> fucking... Fucking, uh... Oh, shit, this is gonna work? Okay, cool. Chavo, Chavo really got a problem with Eddie, man. He keeps punching Eddie. He keeps punching Eddie. Is this gonna be the win? Hold on. He's at red head. I feel like he's gonna kick out. He might be rope. Bro, if this is the win, don't tell me. No way! That was way too easy, bro. Oh, man. I guess, maybe when you make it three on one, the person just gets worse stats or something because, you know, uh, Chavo maybe hit him a couple times. Eddie hit him a couple times. And then, other than that, I did most of the damage. So, uh, yeah, maybe maybe the AI just gets worse if you do three on one against them or something. I don't really know. Uh, skip that winning animation because that's not true. That's not real. That's not real. 
Uh, so yeah, like I said, uh, you know, Helms is uh, looking like he's gearing up to win the match. Shelton gets involved, Eddie gets involved to counteract, uh, prevent Kurt from cheating, and uh, gets Helms the win in the main event. Rumors, wow, Raw is really desperate, huh? And it's working. Uh, the statement backfired as fans tuned in to see SmackDown show for themselves. You have to be careful what you say. Um, I mean, I have the better show. Why are they winning? Don't tell me. Don't fucking sit here and tell me that the fucking game perceives fucking Rumble to be a raw pay-per-view. Don't sit here and fucking tell me that shit because that's bullshit because they just had their pay-per-view. I should have won this week because I had the better show. Look at this. You had you had a ladder match to start your show off with some fucking scrubs in it. Um terms of popularity i don't think any of them have good popularity then you gotta you're you're put brother you're getting three star and you're having championship matches and fucking everybody against each other in big time matches and fucking ladder matches and you're getting three i'm fucking just trying to build the fucking show and i'm getting three and getting three is a slap in the face uh not really though that's that's pretty much a three but their three was not a three no, they got fours. There was a three. But still, like, I'm, I'm not even... I had a backstage brawl against shit people that got three, you know? I had a two and a half... Really? Is Kid Cash that bad that him as a manager tanks that? My god. Um, this got three and a half. Should have gotten four. This got three and a half. That's fair. This got three... Ex um, excuse me? Ah, uh, that kind of makes sense. Doesn't it? It kind of does make sense. Because Kennedy's high 80, mid to high. Umaga was mid to low. And then Ray was just 80. So uh, this match should have probably gotten four. But it is what it is. Maybe Chavo uh, put it down a little bit. Let's take a look at our email. Yeah, contracts I know. We got 3.3 milli to work with. Rivalries are still all good to go, which is good. Going into the go home. Current champions are the same. Let's take a look at our popularities real quick just to see what's going on. All right, Kurt Angle is at a 98. Eddie's at a 93. Undertaker's at a 91. None of that changed. Benoit stayed at 90. I think Kane stayed 87, or he went up to 87 from 86. Helms did go up to 86. Kennedy went down to 85, so they switched. Batista kept 84 with the loss. Book went up to 84 with the win. Umaga stayed 84, but up arrow. Um, RVD stayed 82, but down arrow. Randy, I think, went down to 81 or stayed 81. Ray went up to 81. Shelton either stayed or went up to 81. Molina went up by 2 to 79. Chavo went up by 1, I think, because he was 77 or was he 76? He went up to 78 regardless. Nitro went up by 1 to 70. Uh, Super Crazy went up by 3 to 69. Kid Cash went up to 61. Psychosis stayed 59, I think. Interesting. Okay. Cool. 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 All right, Batista. Let's 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 do this strategically. So, U.S. champion, uh, we need to renew you first. Okay. Boom. Uh, Gregory Helms, we need to renew because he's cruiserweight champion and in the world title match. Uh, Undertaker is a tag team champion and 91 overall or popularity. Sorry. Uh, then we got Booker T. Who's challenging for the U.S. championship. Uh, then we got Batista, who's challenging for shit. Then we have Johnny Nitro, who's kind of on the rise. Uh, then we have Randy. Boom. And we got Ray. Boom. And then we got Psychosis. Boom. There you go. All right. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Let's take a look at the... Uh, Power 25, Carlito went up to number one. I think he won the title then because he was 10 last week. Uh, Kurt kept number two. Edge went up to three. Eddie went up to four. Uh, Triple H went down to five. Mick Foley went down to six. Uh, Gregory Helms went up to seven. Uh, Taker up to 10. Kane up to 13. Um, Benoit down to 14. Seven spot fucking drop. From one loss. Meanwhile, Book didn't gain anything from his win. Umaga up two. Oh, because he was on the winning side, technically. Yeah. Batista down one. Shelton up four with that win. Ray onto the power 25 now with that win. Chavo up to 22. 
Nitro and Molina together at 23 now. And then uh, Randy at 24 and then Kennedy at 25. So who got bumped? Who got bumped? RVD? RVD went down to 23. And then RVD is not here. So RVD got bumped for Ray is what happened. Um... Oh, yeah, I finally put Nitro and Molina together as a tag team so they would uh, show up together on the shit. Yeah. Cool. Now it's not just Molina. Because it was just Molina before. Um, which, I mean, technically they are new, but they're not really new. Uh, so, unless somebody else dropped out from our fucking show. Chavo went up, Shelton went up. Kennedy's still there. Molina's still there, but with Nitro now. Umaga, Randy... Yeah, everybody's still there. Yeah, cool. All right. Uh, in terms of SmackDown specific, we got Helms pretty much near the top of the shit. Uh, okay, cool. And then on Raw, they've got a uh, whole bunch of people right there. whole bunch of dudes. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, so I think we've done pretty much all we need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Uh, and then we'll end off the episode by just running you through, you through next week's card real quick. Boom. All right. I'm going to have to flip the page in my notebook. So if the mic picks that up, apologies. And if it did not, then ignore what I said. All right. So for the go-home edition of SmackDown leading up to the Rumble, we are starting things off with Super Crazy against Psychosis in a match in a Rumble qualifier. And uh, it is also a Loser Leaves Brand match. So, Rumble Qualifier, and the loser leaves SmackDown, and I'll explain why next week at the beginning of next week's episode. And then, in match number two, we have Shelton versus RVD versus Chavo Guerrero in just a Rumble preview match, just a triple threat uh, between two or three really high-level high talented guys who um, who are in the Rumble. So, just a, just a triple threat match to see if somebody can gain some momentum. Then, in the third match, we have Randy versus Taker with their respective tag partners in their corners, just like this week, but the reverse. And then, in the fourth match, we have Eddie versus Umaga for the number 30 spot. If you'll remember, within my kayfabe, we beat Team Raw at Survivor Series to earn number 30. And the hashtag uh, FaceGM has made... has. Uh, has decided to have Eddie and Umaga face off for the number 30 spot in the Rumble. Then in match number five, we have a uh, four-man over-the-top battle royal type thing, which features Nitro, Rey Mysterio, Booker T, and Chris Benoit. And then in the main event of the evening, we have Gregory Helms versus Mr. Kennedy with Gregory Helms' uh, championship... Um, contender rumble spot on the line uh and i'll explain how that comes about as well everything gets explained the storylines and stuff get explained uh, at the beginning of the next week's episode otherwise i'd be just be saying the same thing twice um or three times really because i say because if i say it now before the show and i say it at the show and then i say it after the show i'm saying the same thing three times so I, i'll just stick to saying it twice the setup and then but yeah that's the card for next week's go home and then obviously we have the Rumble after that, which we have our title matches and the Rumble match. So no uh, no extra matches there, just tag titles, US title, World Heavyweight title, and then the Royal Rumble match for Rumble, because the Rumble match itself will take up a lot of time. Uh, so uh, yeah, that'll be it for this week's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If this is the first video that you're watching from the series, you can check out a link to the playlist at the end cards at the end of the video, as well as a link to my... Uh, what would it be? WWE 13 Attitude Era Mode, I think. Uh, I'm also doing a 2K Battlegrounds campaign if you want to check that out. And a UFC 4 Career Mode if you want to go check that out. Uh, follow me on Twitter, link in the description. Please sponsor me, PST. I've gone really hard on that this episode because I really goddamn want that sponsorship. And uh, be sure to turn on notifications so you never miss an episode because YouTube likes to zuck your boy. And not put my videos in your sub boxes. So by pressing that nice old bell icon, you will get a push notification anytime I do upload, and you'll never have to miss it. Uh, as always with this series, if you guys have any suggestions, leave it down in the comments. And if I like it, I'll incorporate it and give you some credit. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, share to all your friends, comment down below, all that good shit. And I'll see you guys next time.